this is a requested video both on YouTube and on Instagram. Last July I filmed how I organized my office slash craft room and one of the parts in the video showed how I stored my stamps. For those of you who didn't see that video, I basically converted four cubes in my IKEA Exhibit or what is now known as the IKEA Calax into eight drawer units to better store and file my stamps. One thing that never converted me into using those plastic fridge bins is that I felt like the space above the stamps would be a waste in my cube. And if you're a serious crafter with a serious collection, you know that every inch of space in your office is precious. So here are two drawers that I pulled out of my shelf. First off, ignore the unopened sets. I like to file my new sets in their sections until I fuse all their proper pockets. So on the right here is my Lawn Fawn and Atelier Dreams drawer. And on the left is my Sweet Stamp Shop and Sassy Club drawer. So I did this drawer first and while things fit, I didn't take into account the ease of flipping through these. Basically, I should have included a gap between the small and bigger sets. That way it was easier when filing through these. Um, obviously here in the lawn fun drawer, I've fixed this, so I now have all the proper dimensions to share with you guys. So how I have my drawers set up is that the big 4x6 sets are stored and labeled horizontally like this, and they all sit on the right side of my drawer. But when I take them out, the openings are still at the top here. When it comes to thin long sets, I double up the storage by fusing a seam down the center and again just labeling them both horizontally on both sets. On the left sides, I have all of my little stamp sets and the pockets are fused in two ways as well. So if I have a small to medium stamp set like this, which takes up most of the space, I will only place one in the pocket. If I have tiny stamp sets, for example, here are Lawn Fawn's tiny sets here, and here are Atelier Dreams tiny sets. I like to fuse the pocket in half, similar to how I have the long, thin sets like this. That way I can store more in each of the pockets. Now that I've shown you how they're stored, let's get started. The first pocket I'm going to show you how to make is the single large pocket that fits your standard 4x6 stamp sets. So for the large pockets, I'm just going to cut down the standard large sized Avery L pockets. When you buy these, they're 8.5 by 5.5 inches and I'm just going to trim this down and you'll want to cut them down to 5 and 1 8 inches by 6 and 5 8 inches. So with the flap on the right side, I'm just going to trim this down to 6 and 5 eighths of an inch. And then because I want all of these stamp sets to be the same height in the drawer, I'm going to trim this down to 5 and 1 eighths inch. Next, I'm going to use this metal ruler that came with my fuse tool and I'm going to line it up as close as I can to the edge, just enough so that I have plastic to fuse at the very edge. And again, I'm just going to fuse the other edge. Next, I'm just going to take my scissors and fix this corner. And now we should have a perfectly sized new large pocket. For the split large pocket, you'll want to start off making the same pocket as pocket number one like this. Next, you'll want to split it right down the middle. I just like to eyeball it, but if you need specific numbers, you should be fusing a line at 2 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. And then you're going to just want to take your scissors and cut right down the center of the top that folds over. So now you have your split large pocket. To make a basic small pocket, I use Avery L small stamp pockets. These are 5 and 1 eighth by 5 inches. 
to trim this down, you'll just want to cut it down to 3 and 7 eighths of an inch wide. You're just going to want to seal that one single edge. Trim the corner. And you're done. For these small split pockets, I'm again going to take an Avery L small snap pocket. This time I'm just going to turn it onto its side and then I'm going to trim it down to 3 and 7 eighths of an inch. Next I'm just going to seal along the edge I just cut. And again I'm just going to fuse it down the center at 2 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. Again, trim it down the piece in the center, and now you have your small split pocket. This next part is optional, but I like to put white cardstock behind my stamps to better see the designs. I would give you all dimensions for these, but I would rather recommend that you eyeball the cardstock fittings yourselves, just because we won't all perfectly fuse the pockets exactly the same way every time. Here are my stamp pockets, and I'm just going to go ahead and put my stamps in and put on the labels. So here are my stamps in the resized stamp pockets. I must say, even though sometimes it can feel tedious making all the pockets again, my favorite part about it all is opening my drawers and seeing them all nice and neatly contained. Thanks again for watching another video. If you liked this video or if you want to see more crafty videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Thanks guys!